It's a role mandating process. It's a leadership teams having a conversation about four key aspects all at the same time. One, what do they see as the individual accountabilities of each member of the team as being? Two, what do they see as the key shared accountabilities of the, of the team members being? Three, which metrics, mission critical metrics, govern whether those individual and shared accountabilities are being met? And four, and last, very importantly, what decision rights do the individuals in that team need? Having those conversations at a leadership team level and cascading those conversations down through the first three layers of an organization, we find is an incredibly powerful way of resolving much of the tension that is natural in an organizational structure. The key is, put all the stakeholders in the room that need to share a goal and do not avoid the tensions in the organization, but in fact identify them, have a conversation about them, and embed them into the role mandate. We believe that the reporting structure for most companies can function quite adequately somewhere between six and eight total reporting layers. However, many companies have more than eight, 10, 11, 12, even more sometimes. At each reporting layer, managers and leaders feel empowered. Their accountabilities are clear and they feel empowered to get on and deliver against them. Somebody once said that culture will eat strategy's lunch every day. I'm not so sure I am fully convinced of that, but I do know that strategy cannot be successfully implemented unless it is embedded in the organizational model that is charged with implementing the strategy.